Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit level up with advanced formulas from the module advanced formulas. So here in this unit's challenge, we will be creating a formula field uh, by the name contribution percentage and the return type is going to be percentage. This field will be on opportunity. And here again, uh, we will be using the concept of helper formula field like we did in the previous unit. So here we are, we are also going to create helper formula field on opportunity object. And this helper formula field will return a percentage type of data and we'll be using the standard expected revenue field on opportunity in order to calculate the, in order to calculate the amount of percentage uh, of the $100,000 individual quarterly target does this opportunity represent. So basically we will be using this uh, expected revenue field with this value $100,000 in order to calculate the individual quarterly target for any particular opportunity. Then uh, moving on, uh, we will be using this helper formula field in another formula field, which will be contribution level. And this field, uh, this field again will be on opportunity object. The return type will be text. Now here uh, we will be testing based on the value returned, based on the percentage returned by the helper formula field contribution percentage. It uh, takes up or mark the opportunity progress. So suppose if our opportunity uh, contribution or the returned value from the helper formula field is less than or equal to 10%, then the opportunity progress, which is uh, recorded over here in this formula field contribution level will be marked as low. If at all the return value from helper formula field is between 10% and 40%, the contribution level will be medium. And if at all it is greater than 40%, then it is going to be high. The contribution level or the, or you can say opportunities progress is high. So that's how we are going to calculate the opportunity progress using the contribution level formula field. Now, in the last unit, uh, if you notice, if you'll notice that we had used case statements in order to uh, give out the result based on a specific value against each result, but here we will uh, be using if statements. The reason uh, behind this is. Uh, case statements it does not contain boolean function and if you will notice that these condition that we will be checking for the uh, contribution level uh, will be of boolean type like uh, the return value from here contribution percentage is less than or equal to 10 this is going to give out the boolean value so we cannot use that in case statements that is why we will be using if statements instead so let's move on and quickly launch our trailhead playground without wasting any time and I've already launched that over here, go to setup. And from there, we will be opening up the object manager. Go to opportunity object. Going to fields and relationship. The very first thing uh, as given by the gist of the uh, challenge the very first thing that we have to do over here is we have to create a new field which will be helper formula field the name that we are going to give is contribution percentage so i will just copy this and going back or go, scrolling a little bit okay formula is on the top itself so just select the formula type and click on next paste it in the label text area field name will be auto populated next is uh, we have to select the formula return type to be percentage now in a formula, I will not be using uh, the form uh, specifically. I will be not uh, multiplying it with hundred in order to convert it into percentage because I, as uh, the return type of this data has been specified already that it will be percentage. So all our calculation will automatically be converted into percentage without multiplying it by hundred. So this will be done in the back end. So. Uh, you will get a more clarity once I'll do or create the formula over here. So here, uh, the uh, field that uh, the field on which we are going to calculate this formula will be on expected revenue. So just go to insert field, and here there is this field expected revenue. Just click on insert. 
Now I will just copy this uh, field over uh, this value from uh, which is hundred thousand dollars. I will just copy this uh, without a dollar. And here I will divide this with the value which I copied, removing the comma from here. Now, uh, if uh, so, the logic says that I should multiply this whole with 100 in order to convert it into percentage, but we are not going to do that because the return type is itself specified that it will be of percentage type. So I'm going to keep it uh, this way only. Uh, that's all uh, we had to do for our formula field. Uh, helper formula field, just click on next. Make it visible for everyone. Just uh, again, click on next. I'm going to keep it on, uh, on all of these page layouts, then click on save and new. Now the next formula field that I will be creating uh, again, we'll be on object uh, opportunity. I will copy this and this is again going to be of formula. So I will select formula. Now this type, the return, this time the return type will be the uh, text. So pasting the name over here, I will select the re formula return type to be of text. Now let's click on next button. Now here I'm going to add my formula. So uh, what actually is happening based on the value returned from the helper formula field, I will decide what will be the contribution level or the opportunity progress. So for that, I'm going to use if function. So go to your functions on your right hand side, go to I alphabet and there it is if. So I will just copy this over here. Now this is the if function uh, in which it uh, the syntax says that first uh, in uh, before the first comma, I have to write my logic. So my logic states, the very first logic, it states that uh, the contribution, uh, sorry, the contribution percentage, if it is less than or equal to 10%. So I will be using the formula field or the helper formula field, click on insert field and go to alphabet C. So there it is, this is the helper formula field, which we created a few minutes back, click on insert. Now I will be checking for this uh, if it is less than or equal to 10 uh, percent. So this is what it is written over here in the challenge, but I'm not going to write in this way because the, uh, the value returned from there and the value fetched over here will not be uh, in this form. It will automatically be converted from percentage to this format. That is it will, uh, so, if the value returned from the helper formula field is 10%, it will automatically be converted in order to fetch over here into 0 0.1. That is 10% uh, divided by 100. Uh, so 0 0.1 will be taken up over here instead of uh, 10. So otherwise 10 will be considered as number, but we want percentage. So that is why this is actually uh, the backend thing, uh, which you need not have to go into really very de depth. Uh, but, but just consider or t grab this concept in that uh, how we are functioning over here with the percentage. So I'm just taking up this as one, 0 0.1. Now, if at all my contribution percentage is 0 0.1, I will have to make the contribution level as low. So let's go back over here. So if this, uh, this uh, value is true, the, uh, then the contribution level will be low. So I will just write low over here. Now, if at all it is false, this is not less than 0 0.1 or the 10%, then I have to move on to the second case, which is between 10% and 40%. So this specify that and operator has to be used or and function for that matter. So let's just go back here. So this will work when our value is false, uh, return value from this expression is false. So I will write the uh, logic for this in the next line to have a clarity uh, on uh, this formula, otherwise you will get confused. So I'm just keeping this in the next line. So here, if it is false, then I have to check inside the AND function. So I will take up AND function from here. There it is. Now AND inside AND function, I have to simply put out the logics only. So I will just use this. First of all, select this over here and select AND here. 
click on insert so our false logic a false text will be replaced by and now inside this i'm going to put two uh, expressions which is contribution percentage is less than 10 percent uh, sorry, contribution percentage is a less uh, greater than 10% and less than 40%. So as I told you, uh, we are not going to use this with percentage. So we will simply be using 10 divided by 100, which is 0 0.1. And this will automatically be converted as uh, 40 divided by 100, 0 0.4. So we are just simply uh, converting the percentage into decimal value right so here i will remove all this and i will add these two conditions or expression separated by comma so first of all just copy this field put inside the and brackets and here i'm going to first of all check if it is greater than 0 0.1 then place comma and use this field again paste it and if it is less than 0 0.4 Now, this, this will work only when this is not true, right? This first expression is not true, then this will work. Now, this I have to keep inside if also. Why? Because this will be the logic for our next if, where we will be checking whether this condition is true or this one is true. So let's keep this, uh, first of all, I'll just remove this or cut this from here. I should have a place if first. So I will remove this first. Now here, this uh, this was something uh, over here, we were having the false condition for this if. Now for uh, the false condition of our first if, I will be placing another if. So put the brackets here or I will just take this function from here. So this will give you more clarity about the syntax. Now, this is the false case for our very first condition. Now, this is if this is false, I will here put my logic of the and, which I just cut, cut a few minutes back. So I will paste this over here. Now, inside this if, if this condition is true, if this whole condition till 0 0.4 is true, then I have to say that my uh, contribution level is medium. So I'll say it as medium. And if it is not medium also, so this condition, first of all, it will check for this condition. If it is not true, then it will go to this condition till 0 0.4. And if this is also not true, then it will go to the value if false. So in that case, it has to be high. So this is how our formula field will work or the logic that we will be uh, representing over here. So I hope you get the idea uh, how we are going to use this formula field and logic we are going to place. Click on check syntax. There you go, no error are there. So I will just go through this logic once again. If you got the idea, you can just skip this part, right? So if at all this is this condition is true, then the value will be low. If this is not true, then it will go to the false case of the first if, which is if till here. This is the false case for our very first condition. Now inside that, it will check whether both of these two conditions are true. Then it will give out the result as medium. If this condition is also false, then it will give out high. So we have kept the high in else case. And this is uh, what it is written over here that more than 40%, it has to be high. So more than 0 0.4, it will be high. So that's all uh, I had uh, the logic to execute this formula field. Click on next make it visible for everyone, click on next again. I'm going to uh, keep it on every layout, just click on save. Now it's time for testing. So let's go back to app launcher. Here I will open the opportunity and you can open up any opportunity. So I'll just go to edge installation, go to details. Now here the contribution percentage is coming up, which is 50% and it is more than 40% uh, specified in the challenge. So the contribution level is coming up as high. 
So uh, this is the expected revenue field, which has been uh, used in the helper uh, formula field and then in the contribution level is decided based on that. So let's go back uh, to our challenge and just click on check challenge to earn 500 points. Hopefully we should be able to pass this, uh, all the parameters and we should be able to pass this challenge. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.